Okay, this is the Fenuder story. Oh. You sure you ready for it? There's a road right there, I told you. What road? Miami Trails right there. It's the same road what we was on the first time. But anyway, go ahead, let me hear about the Fenuder. Okay, now this may shock you. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. I take my hat off, roll up my pants leg, shake it deep. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were on at Glacier Point, and you couldn't make it all the way up to the point. Okay, I remember that. Beautiful spot where I was at. Yeah. So you stayed down, and I walked up the trail. That's right. Right? I saw the knee bottle falls and the Vernal falls. Virgil? Vernal. Vernal? Vernal. Virgil? Virgil, what's something? Who's Virg? Something. Falls. Yeah. yeah. Vernal falls and, and the Nevada That's falls in the half Beautiful half spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I walked on up to see what was up ahead and to kind of check it out for you and see if you could make the Got the walk that, and we agreed. The million dollar view you did. Yeah, it was great. Oh, it was nice. And we agreed. No doubt. That that was not a walk you could make. Right. So anyway, I'm walking up the trail, just mm -hmm. minding my own business. There's not many people on that trail right. because it was the disability trail. Right. So most people went the other trail, which was a little bit more difficult but oh. shorter. Okay. The disability trail was easier with switchbacks, but it was longer. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately for me and other people with disabilities, mm -hmm. they don't have any benches along that route, which doesn't make sense to me. What'd you call them? Not bitches. Oh, okay. Benches. Benches. Okay. B-E-N-C-H-E-S. Okay. Right. okay, you got it now, Brother I got, Man? I guess I do. All right, Spanky, now pay attention. Yeah, yes, sir. So, I'm just minding my own business, but I'm getting a little tired. Mm -hmm. So I decide I want to sit down, but there's no benches. No sure weren't. No place to sit down. There weren't none anywhere I could find anything. There weren't nothing up there. Mm -hmm. But a stump of a tree. Oh. And they'd sawed it off nice and flat. And so I kind of brushed it off, you know, mm -hmm. and I had my shorts on. Mm -hmm. You know my shorts, they're a little short. They bring true to the name. They're shorts. And so when I sit down, they kind of hack up a little bit, you know, because oh, I, yeah, uh -huh. engine drawers, because I got a big old booty. Okay. Do you? I ain't never noticed. I, well, you're not supposed to notice. You're my brother. Okay. All oh, right. That's right. I mean, I know we're from Alabama, but that's come right. the. Hey, I'm just dating my sister. I couldn't swear it was a weather balloon. That's right. And if you don't understand that statement, just send an email to Woodrow and he'll. That's right. Van Camp and Woody, I will address it in tribute. He will. So, we're, I'm sitting down on this stump, you know, and I sit there for maybe 10 minutes. Just cooling off, taking in the scenery. It's mm -hmm. quite lovely. Yeah. The stump was comfortable. Mm -hmm. Well, I go to get up. And I decide I'm going to walk up the trail a little bit. There you go. I'm proud of you, girl. I know, because I just had to do it. Yeah. I was having a good day with my MS. Mm -hmm. Felt like I could make the trek. As soon as I stand up, something starts poking me in my coochie. <gasps> I kid you not. You mean your fenuder? Well, you call it a fenuder. Okay. I call it a coochie. Okay. I mean, you know, different right, vernacular. All right. You know what vernacular means? You know one of them high dollar edge and McKinney words. <laughs> uh, how do you spell that? <laughs> V-E-R. This is like Virgil Falls. Okay. Vernacular Falls. That's what it is. Vernacular Falls. <laughs> It's like a colloquialism. Do you know oh, what that crap. is? <laughs> oh, we got to stop and get exorcism going on here. Using <laughs> <laughs> different words. Yeah, we're from different regions, so She's we have different vernacular. <laughs> okay. Okay. So back to the coochie story. Okay. Or fenuder. the fenuder story, okay. like you call it. Okay. So something's poking me in my coochie. And so I just start to dig in there to figure out what the hell it is. So I'm tugging on my shorts and tugging on my drawers. No, you weren't. Yeah, I was. But there so. wasn't nobody coming up the path, nobody coming down the path. I thought it was okay. No word of a lie? No word of a lie. So I'm digging away, trying to figure out what this pokey thing is in my lady parts. And all of a sudden, I hear voices. Uh -oh. And I'm like, oh, damn it. You hear People voices. Not in my head. <laughs> they saying the stump. Remove the stump. No! <laughs> my coochie ain't 
get that baby to fit that damn stump up in there. Now, come on. I may have had four babies. Ten pound babies, but my coochie ain't that do. big. I still do. Go Good ahead. Lord. Okay. It wasn't a stump removal job. It okay. wasn't a stump removal job. Okay. All right, Spanky. All right. <laughs> so we get... We, I, I hear the voices, right? That's where we were in the story. I hear the voices. I turn around and I see this couple coming up the path, and I realize I can no longer be digging in my coochie. Because oh. that might be a bit embarrassing. Oh, no, she did. <laughs> so I set my ass down on the stump again. Oh, goodness. And I just sat there, minding my own business. You know, I might have whistled a tune or wait something a minute, like wait that. Wait a minute. You stayed in the same vicinity of where that stump was at? Well, yeah. I thought I mean, you was doing this, you was walking along. No, not the first oh, time. On. I was imagining a high step and a crawl and a <laughs> No, no, no. I was doing that standing in the in the same spot, oh, see? Okay. Cuz I did. <laughs> okay. Cuz I didn't know if I was going to have to take my drawers off. You know what I thought you, you were hearing voices and you dancing. In the spirit. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. You know, I didn't know I might have to take my drawers off to oh, get the pokey crap. thing out. You never oh, know, God you know. Man. So I had to stay right there because I was kind of off in the woods a little bit, you know, on the stump. I didn't want anybody to see me taking off my drawers. Oh. That's why I stayed there. Oh. So they come along, so I set my ass back down on the stump. Well, what do you think happened? When they walked past, went up the hill a little further, and there was nobody around. Oh. I stood up again. Well, there was more than one pokey thing. Oh, my goodness, more than one. More than one. And I brushed that damn yeah. stump off. So I don't know if I got splinters. Brushed it with what? With your veneer? No. <laughs> <laughs> I brushed it off with my hand before okay. I sat down. Okay. So I'm sitting there thinking, I either got ants in my pants uh -huh. or I got splinters in my veneer. Oh, my Jesus. So I decided, well... I'm just going to have to deal with this. I almost turned around and came back down. But I was so close to the top, I decided I was going to go on. Oh, so I'm dead. doing that high step and wiggle that's walking that you were talking about. Right that's dedication. De dedication. <laughs> yes, it is. So I'm, I'm doing that little wiggle walk and the high step and stuff that you was talking about earlier. Mm. With my hand oh. in between my legs. Okay. <laughs> Pants, digging in my drawers, trying to get the pokey thing. I mean, if you had a pokey thing poking your man parts, your man giant, as well, you look, call I it. Can glide by, well, not too many. Yeah, 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 I can have a lot of trees. Yeah, but not, not pooping. Well, so finally, uh -huh. after much searching oh, man. in the nether regions, uh -huh. I found. Two little tiny pieces of pine needle that uh, were the culprits of the fenuder uh, stick. Uh, uh. Yeah, pulled those things out. Mm. They went running off. Mm. They was poking me for fud. I was wondering why that tree then was a shaking. <laughs> <laughs> so I just went on up and I got that awesome video That's that I showed you. Video. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. We so could have made it. So that's the story of the mm. the Coochie Fenuder Poke mm. Party. Ooh, that's a good name. Coochie Fenuder Poke Party. <laughs> and not the kind of poke that Gus gave Miss Lori. No, that's right. One, one, no cards cutting. No cutting cards. If y'all don't understand that reference, go watch Lonesome Dove. That's right. All right, folks. That's the Spanky and Saffron show that's for today. Until we'll, we find some more material. I hope you enjoyed the story and the pretty pictures. Y'all yeah. take care now. See you. Y'all come back now, you hear? Huh?